Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to my team guide for Benfica. Sorry, what? It's not... No, but it's full of Portuguese people. Oh, okay. Welcome to my team guide for Wolves. Let's have a look as to what we've got to do. <laughs> Sign... This is... I've only have... Uh, this is the last guide I've got to do, right? And only one team... I can't remember who it was. Was it Tottenham? It said sign English players. No other team has told me to sign any English players, but Wolves say sign Portuguese, to high reputation Portuguese players and play entertaining football. They want to reach the quarter. Remember, we got the Europa League. Always bear that in mind that first season because of the squad size you're going to need. They want a top half finish as well as quarterfinals of the Europa League. So quite the challenge. And then the end of next season, they want... Uh, qualify for the Europa League again and continue to do so. So they're not expecting top four in the next five years, which is good. Let's have a look at this squad, see if we can actually achieve those. As you can see straight away, it's one of the widest ranging skill gaps, if you know what I mean, in the squad. We've got a bunch of decent players and then we've got quite a few bit ropey, bit ropey. Let's go through them. So we've got three goalkeepers, We've got one goalkeeper. His name's Rui Patricio. He's, he's just an absolute beast. 31 years old. We've got another four or five years out of him. No problem whatsoever. Centre-backs. Bolly's good. Really like Bolly. Um, the rest are okay. We've got Dendonka, who can play as a centre-back, um, a ball-playing centre-back, or as a sort of central midfielder. I did a bit of a stream save with FM with the Wolves, so I sort of know them a little bit. Connor Cody, ex-Liverpool kitty. Again, Ball playing centre back, or you can play him further up as a ball winning midfielder or a deep line playmaker in those roles as well. Can do a perfectly good job. So it's pretty versatile. Uh, right backs, we've got Doherty, who's very, very good going forward. Pretty good all rounder. On the left hand side, we've got uh, Johnny. He's right foot though, isn't he? Yeah. So Johnny plays on the right, but he can, he's got a decent left foot. You can do a job. Inverted wing backs, anyone? No? Okay. Yeah. Nobody, <laughs> nobody uses them. Um. <laughs> And so we've got a decent amount of players, which we need. Decent squad size. Uh, central midfield, we've got obviously the th all guys we've looked at. We've got Ruben Neves. Unfortunately, you know, in the beta, long shots were broken, overpowered, um, which Ruben Neves especially loved. But he's very, very good still as a deep line playmaker. He's decent defensively as well, so you can have him further back, but then you probably lose some of this long shot ability. So I'm more likely to play him in that central midfield because otherwise that's just completely wasted. You've got Jean Moutinho, who's an absolute beast of a player. One thing I did notice when playing this save was there was a lot of playmakers in, in this team. Um, going forward, obviously ignore the pinkies because they're out unknown. But they actually look like half decent players as well. We've got um, Pedro Neto, a young Portuguese player, funny enough. Five star potential, needs a lot of work, but give him some game time, give him some mentoring, you could get there. Jota's a decent all rounder, striker, inside forward. Then we've got Catrone, who's, you know, an AC Milan legend that's not uh, going to be at AC Milan anymore. Um, I managed AC Milan in a journeyman and he spent his entire career there he was a legend and Raul Jimenez as well so up front pretty damn tasty let's have a look in our Portuguese youth development system um <coughs> nobody obviously stand out there might be a couple of all rights here Rafim is not not too bad and bright his name is bright is he Nigerian he is how did I know he's Nigerian oh because probably because I managed him before I've, I feel like I've heard bright as a Nigerian name before um, and then in the under 18s, yeah, yeah, but they don't care about the youth system anyway. They just want us to sign Portuguese high reputation wonder kids. So that's not a problem. They're going to give us 15 million quid to do it. 80 grand in wages, decent balance. So hopefully going forward, we'll make a ton of profit because they're, what's, what's the actual wages spent? Decent amount of wages. We should make... A decent amount of money. What's our facilities like? 30,000 seat stadium, which is fine. Excellent data, excellent training, excellent youth and adequate re recruitment and coaching. That needs to be fixed, but the rest is fantastic. Or who's our team leaders? Connor Cody, obviously captain. Jan Martinio and Ruben Neves. So three players that you're not going to sell. Perfect. So they're set up to be a decent team. Obviously, we've got Europa League. 
which is you're going to be playing all the games, all the games in the world ever because it's ridiculous. Um, so we need a decent squad. Bear that in mind. And maybe some of those fringe players that you think you'd probably just let go, you actually go like, you know, the Jordan Grahams of this world. Where you'd go, yeah, he's not going to make it. He's not even Portuguese. Keep him. You might need him against some random Slovenian team in the Europa League. Um, Adama Traore, who's finally... I, I think... I, somebody helped me with this. I mentioned in a video, like, two years, two, three years ago, that I thought Adama Traore was going to be world-class. <laughs> so far, he's proved me wrong, but there's glimmers. And in the game, he can keep the ball whilst doing tricks, whilst doing it really fast, and nothing else. Can't pass, can't shoot, but make him run around with the ball, he'll, he'll look really good doing it, and he's big and muscly. Um, so with our money, <clears throat> I like the idea of, so I'm playing Ruben Neves and Jan Moutinho, let's say in a two, and I might use somebody like Connor Cody as a ball winning midfielder, maybe rotating with Dendonka. So I'm probably looking to sign a partner for Willy Bolly, um, somebody that can go right into the squad Obviously Portuguese, obviously high reputation with our £15 million. I think I'm improving the centre-back situation uh, going forward. We've got Vallejo, but he's, I used him a bit and I didn't find him fantastic. He'll do as a sort of third choice, but I think I need a first-teamer to go straight into that centre-back partnership. As for the rest, I think we're pretty good to go. We've got a decent spread of ages. We've got some decent youngsters. Even we've got an, a young English wonder kid as well. So we'll probably have to sell him or try and find like a Portuguese grandparent for him or something. I don't know. But there we go. <clears throat> Quite a decent challenge. I find I found managing that that Europa League really hurt my league form. We saw it with Burnley in real life. The amount of games that's what you've got to be careful for. What was it they wanted to us to achieve in that first um, quarterfinals? That's definitely doable, even if you rotate a bit. Um, the Europa League's not been... So we've got the qualifying rounds, but, you know, Lecce Warsaw or Lecce Gdansk uh, in the PKO Bank Polski Eskudovs. I'm looking forward to my journeyman because I might be managing in Poland. So that's going to be fun. Right. But there we go. There is my mini guide for Wolves. As always, if you're a Wolves fan or you're doing a Wolves save, you're going to know it a lot better than me. Let us know in the, in the comments what sort of tactics you're using, all the transfers you've done, players, Portuguese players that we should keep an eye on and all that good stuff. Ronaldo, he's high reputation and Portuguese. Surely. That's got to be the goal of any Wolves manager to sign him. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and all, all that good stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.